Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. Uh, this week we'll talk about the hardware security module. Uh, last few months we have been talking about the penetration testing, so I thought like this week let's make a change in the topic and let's learn more about what is the HSM because this is a very fundamental topic and for anyone who wants to get into the cloud security. So now cloud security uh, or the cloud hardware security module helps you meet the corporate and contract and regulatory requirements for data security by using dedicated hardware security modules appliance within the cloud. Now earlier, uh, if the company wants to uh, like, you know, store their encryption keys very securely, they will have to buy the HSM. They have to manage, they have to put in the secure storage, they have to lock it down, they have to monitor everything. It just, it was so tedious and very expensive. Like I would say on an average, it would cost like $10,000 uh, just to uh, like, you know, set, set it up. So that was very expensive. Now with the cloud, uh, it becomes very easy because uh, you don't need to manage the appliance and you only pay as you use or as you go. So, uh, and this is like, you know, dedicated appliance. So this is not like a multi-tenant service. So for example, your S3, right? So you have your S3 bucket, uh, like wherever your data is stored physically could be a multi-tenant, like can be shared, uh, might be shared by the different teams, but here the HSM due to its uh, security requirement, it's a dedicated. So you sign up and you uh, you get the dedicated partition and then uh, like, you know, it's all all uh, used by only one company and no one else or other tenant can come in and, and interact with your partition. So that's the uh, Cloud HSM in very brief. Now, why you should learn about the uh, Cloud HSM? So uh, this is very critical in the cryptographic area. So if you want to learn and and go into deep for the encryption, decryption sort of uh, topics, then uh, you must learn the hardware security module because most of, the, and this is very common use case there where you want to store the uh, private and public keys uh, uh, like symmetric or symmetric keys, you have to use the HSM for the secure storage when when you require certain level of uh, like you know security or data integrity uh if you if you know how to manage how to sign uh, like you know create and and manage the hsm that will be a standout on your cv um, many hiring managers would love to see that on your cv if you know how to do that and and in the future videos i'll also show you uh, the demo on how do we create the cluster ec2 and um how do we create the hsm in the aws environment and of course, this is going to be a very fundamental topic to learn for uh, any cloud security role. So you must know what is the HSM and why does a company uses it? Because even if you go into any compliance role uh, where certain like FIPS requirements are there, uh, you need to know how to configure the HSM. So what, how does HSM help us? So first off, it enables like, you know, control of the data because only you can control the data that you have then there is an evidence of control. So whenever there is a compliance audit, you can show that uh, we have like, you know, HSM in place and, and that is how we provide the control. And then of course it meets the, all the compliance requirements. Now it also provides a secure key storage, right? So you can store the public private key, you can generate the key, you can import the key, uh, you can delete the key. So you can do all the functionality. So it provides that uh, amazing functionality. It also allows you to do cryptographic operations like encryption, decryption, uh, pulling the keys and, and uh, uh, revoking the keys, etc. And then at the last, it also, it's a temper resistant. So for example, let's say if someone is brute forcing the HSM, uh, what it does, it, it detects, it has a self detect detection like, you know, capability and it erases or destroys itself. Uh, suppose like, you know, uh, you are, uh, someone is trying to uh, brute force uh, using certain role, uh, such as like, you know, user role to the HSM. And if it detects a certain number of unsuccessful attempt, it locks the user out. So it has some inbuilt capabilities, which is uh, very useful and make, make it more secure. So uh, this is like, you know, the cloud HSM. So as you can see, uh, if you want to encrypt something, uh, as you uh, request a key from the HSM, uh, you encrypt the data and you put it back or, or like, you know, uh, yeah. So that, that's how the cloud HSM works. And this, this, is, uh, this is what the uh, like actual appliance looks like, the hardware security module. Uh, there, are, there are several uh, vendors or uh, companies who, who does this, but this is just one of the example uh, in reality, like how the HSM appliance look like. 
now uh, you must be thinking so the cryptographic operations key storage everything is also offered by KMS which is key management system so what's the difference so here is the difference between the HSM and the KMS uh, HSM is a single tenancy and KMS is multi tenancy so as I said like KMS can have within one box can have key stored by multiple tenant while HSM is dedicated so it's a single both of these services are highly available and managed by the AWS so you don't need to worry about the availability concern uh, key control uh, as I said like HSM can only uh, have like you know can be managed by the client uh, AWS does not have any interaction with the uh, key stored or data stored into the HSM while KMS you and K AWS both have access to it there is also a customer managed key AWS managed key if you know uh, I think we discussed that in the previous uh, videos uh, integration uh, of course both provides broad AWS support so if you need to uh, let's say you know DynamoDB has to uh, pull a key from the HSM or KMS it can easily integrate it, it can easily be done uh, uh, encryption like symmetric where you only have one private key to encrypt and decrypt asymmetric is where when you have a public private key pair uh, to encrypt and decrypt so both uh, provides a storage for both types of key uh, compliance uh, this is FIPS uh, 142 uh, compliant as well as EL4 while KMS is only compliant with uh, FIPS 140 and 2 uh, uh, pricing wise I would say cloud HSM is a bit expensive however it is a lot cheaper than what you would do like you know if you are physically maintaining the HSM by your own by your own so that way it is it is very uh, useful uh, KMS uh, of course we all know it's 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 very uh, like you know reasonable service uh, where most of the people uses that for day-to-day -day encryption decryption uh, techniques now how cloud HSM is secure so uh, as I said like AWS does not have access to the keys right and there's also separation of duties and role based access control so you can say this user should have access to this key while this user does not you can maintain and control the IAM in that sense now AWS can destroy the keys but uh, they do not have access to the keys so suppose there is something wrong with the partition they can destroy the partition in which will also destroy the keys however that does not uh, grant them access to the keys so that's a really uh, like you know very big difference between what type of access does AWS have to the keys now if it detects the physical tampering the keys will be destroyed so as I said like it has a self uh, capability of detection and deletion of the uh, keys or the data that's stored within the HSM uh, there is a crypto officer user role I'll show you in the demo uh, how it looks like so if that user has the, like you know five unsuccessful attempts then uh, HSM lines is it itself so uh, this is like an in case of the brute force attack and, and same goes for the crypto user so there's another role and it the user will be locked out if it does like you know more than five unsuccessful attempts we'll actually do in the demo so it will be fun to see how it uh, works in the real world so these are like you know this this all capabilities makes the cloud HSM much more secure and and must have for any any company or any organization who wants to achieve the high level of encryption uh, so that's it from this video I didn't want to like you know make it big and and make it boring I guess so probably next video in the upcoming videos I'll, I'll cover the demo portion of it like uh, based on this learning we'll see how you can create the HSM how you can set up the VPC cluster and then how do you manage and, and store the keys and etc it will be it will be a very fun video so yeah uh, hang around uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already please hit the thumbs up button as well uh, and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions uh, nothing else I'll, I'll see you guys next week thank you